Hi guys, welcome to the Speed Build video. In The Sims 4, my name is Irene and today I am building my steampunk music box. With an open drawer with a typical ballerina in the middle, I'm going to build a night sky as a backdrop. And yes, this will be a house for your Sims to live in. But first of all, yay, Merry Christmas! <laughs> it's Christmas today. I hope you'll have a good one with your family or maybe with your loved ones. Or maybe you just like to be alone on Christmas, eat good food, watch television. It's all good. I just hope you'll be happy today. I'm from the Netherlands and we have a second Christmas day, so I'll be celebrating it tomorrow with a small portion of my family. We're still in hard lockdown here in the Netherlands and I'll be cooking and I'll be cooking beef wellington. I never did that before, so I hope it all works out. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to take this opportunity as well to thank you guys so, so much for all the love you've been giving me this last year from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. This wouldn't be possible without you and you guys always make me so happy with your comments and it always gives me so much motivation. So thank you guys so, so much for for that you don't know how much it means to me and around Christmas yeah, I just felt a laugh a little bit so I wanted to thank you all so much for that and yeah here is my Christmas build Ta-da! <laughs> it isn't a Christmas build no it isn't a Christmas build at all I know it is in winter there is snow so yeah, that's how Christmassy it is I wanted to do a Christmas build for today because i wanted to upload on this friday on christmas day but i didn't want to do something like a cliche something too repetitive there are already so many amazing christmas villages out there on youtube or christmas markets or these typical christmas builds and builds and they are amazing they are gorgeous but I wanted to do something different and that is to my knowledge hasn't been done before in the game and my mind went to music box so I thought let's just do a music box do it in a winter world and I think you could see it in the intro already that the end result could be in a Christmas movie so in that way I thought it was still kind of Christmassy the idea to do a music box actually came from another game. We've been playing Bloodborne again in my household, me and my husband. And I don't know if you know Bloodborne, but I talked about Dark Souls before. They're uh, both, or it's a franchise actually, but they're a hardcore Japanese RPGs. And um, in Bloodborne you have a boss called Father Gascoigne and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because my French isn't that good. But uh, you can kind of cheat, it's not really cheating, but you have a trick where you're fighting against this boss and it is something to do with the music box, I don't want to spoil that much. But yeah, that kind of triggered the idea with me to do a music box in the game. I love building items in the game that aren't really there yet oversized items like that bird cage i did a couple of months ago or a train it's not really a, yeah you know what i mean and i thought a music box could be cool as well because i could make a layer to live in of course and in some kind of way for me it was funny that Normally, the thing you really want to avoid when you're building in The Sims, when you're building is in the game, is to make something that looks like a box. And today I had to make something that really looked like a box. So I thought it was kind of fun. So I decided to make this music box here. And I wanted to do it in a steampunk style because that's one of my favorite styles to build in. As you can see, I already made the drawer over here, this open drawer, and I created a gap in the wall. Because it isn't, uh, normally you can't place a half wall from the bottom down, you know? You can only place a half wall from the bottom up. Oh well, you know what I mean. I made a gap in the wall here. And I actually use the same method for it that I normally use for removing walls underneath the roofs. 
I talked about that method numerous, numerous times, but you want to place doors on the walls underneath roofs. You normally you cannot remove these walls, of course. But when you place these doors on them and after that size them down, you cannot see these walls anymore. So in that way you can remove the walls underneath the roofs. But of course you can use that method in a different way as well. So I used it on the wall with windows in that size. I placed them all next to each other. And then I sized these windows down as far as I could with the tool mats. And when you do that with the tool mats, you don't have to cover them up or something like that. And you cannot see them anymore. And in that way, you can create a gap like that in a wall. And I never used that method before. And I think I'm going to use it more often, actually. I'm using a lot of these machinery items. You can see it right here. And that was actually the most difficult part. This part that you can see right here with that lever. It's called a lever, right? I'm not totally sure, but you have to turn that around to make the music box work, you know? And oh man, such a trial and error process. I tried so, so, so many different things, but after struggles, <laughs> I found this outdoor light lantern, street lantern. It's very, very modern and it has that curve in it. And I flipped another object around with the tool mods and I attached them to each other. In this way, I created a lever over there and I really think it looks exactly like how I wanted it to look. So I was very, very happy that that worked out over there. Maybe you saw it in the very, very beginning of this video. Wow, I was thanking you all so much and wishing you a happy Christmas. But I actually used toilets in this build. The paths where the entire box is standing on, they're oversized toilets and they came with the Get Famous pack. And I think when you don't know that there are toilets, you cannot see it, in my humble opinion. And just the entire look with these curled up edges with the paws, it was the most fitting for, yeah, for item to use underneath this box to make it look like this. But I thought it was so funny that I used toilets over there. I used a lot of these pipes everywhere, as you can see, and the machinery items to make it look more yeah, steampunk, but I wanted to make it look very ornate as well. So I used a lot of these golden shells, as you can see, and these golden curls. They all came with the Get a Famous pack. And I used these curtains, and I used them on the wall, as you can see. These uh, they're not curtains, these rocks that I wanted is what I wanted to say. And I used them on the wall. These rocks, they came with the Get a Famous pack. And you actually can place them as tapestry on the wall or as a decoration where you use the tool mod. I talked about that a mod before. It is by Twisted Maxi. You can just go to twistedmaxi.com and pull it off there. You can ro rotate items with it. You can place items off the lot. There are so many opportunities, opportunities, possibilities <laughs> with that mod. It is amazing. And the cool thing about it is when I use it in my builds and you don't have the mod, you can still pull this build from the gallery and use it in your own game without having that mod installed. But like I said, you can rotate items with that mod. So you can rotate rocks as well. And in that way, you can rot them, rotate them, toggle them active. And then you can click on a wall. And in that way, you can place these rocks on the wall. And I think that really, it gave this a completely different effect with all these golden curls everywhere. So yeah, a lot of fun and something that I never used before in my builds. It opened drawer at the front. I talked about the gap that I created. I wanted to make it at the sides of the drawer as well. So I used the same method there. I placed the windows and I sized them down and that way I could create a gap. We're onto the lid of the entire box right now. And I tried so many different things with this as well. I wanted to make it lean over a little bit and I used roofs for it at first, but I thought it would be a nice idea to make kind of a theater backdrop in the lid with a night sky, with stars and with trees and yeah, make it look like a backdrop that you can see in a the theater. And I thought 
because of that reason it had to be straight up and it was a little bit easier to be honest <laughs> to make it straight up because i could just use walls and roofs in the platform tool for it so that's what i did here of course if you want to recreate something like this you can just place a roof there pull out the eaves and in that way you can create a lid very very easily that leans over or that leans through the front but you don't have really space in it to create a backdrop like that so that's why i decided to go for this method another method that i used in this build again you can see it right here it's not the other method it's the previous one i just talked about by placing in the rocks on the wall oh yeah before i tell you more about that other thing when you select an item with the tool mod when you toggle it active and after that hold alt and click somewhere just next to the item in that way you can move the item again and make it very very precise in that way yeah twisted maxi oh my god i want to thank you as well so much for this mod because i've been using it for a couple of months now and i'm discovering something new about it almost every month or every week and it's just such an amazing mod especially because like i said you don't need that mod if you want to use my builds in your game but i was talking about the other method and i used that during the build of that ghost ship as well i did a couple of weeks ago and you can see it over here too a thing that i really like to do when i want to recreate items like this like this music box or the birdcage in uh, in the game is to create a rough shape first with walls of course or with rooms and then without choosing the color for the wallpaper already is adding on a lot of accents everywhere to really make it look very realistic and to change the shape of the entire thing a little bit as well you can see it in the edges of the chest over there i used some items on the sides on the corners is what i wanted to say i use these round items to make the chest look more round in that way but I love doing that without picking out the wallpaper already. Because I think I work way, way, way more precise when I'm building just on a blank wall. And after that, in the end, when I'm done with that part of the build, I pick out the wallpaper. And it's always a very satisfying moment because uh, when I pick the wallpaper, you can really see the effect of all yeah the decorations and all the little accents that i placed everywhere you can really see that effect and i think you can just make work way more precise in that way i just made these straps over there so where the lid is hanging on i made them with roofs and i removed the walls underneath the roofs with the doors and now we're on to i think the most fun part of this build because the inside of this music box yeah i had so much fun with that and the exterior of course as well i loved every segment of it but this part it really worked out how i had it in my mind like i said i wanted to make this kind of backdrop over here as you can see in the theater because i wanted to place a ballerina ballerina in in the music box i think it had to be in a music box of course when i think about music boxes i think about these boxes when you flip them open there is a ballerina popping up and she's twirling around and there's some beautiful music playing my mother had one when i was younger and i still remember that that one was always next to her bed and when i was very very small and just crawled into her bed in the on sunday morning or something we sometimes picked up the music box and i was always in awe when the thing was playing and especially of the, the thrilling barrel ballerina over there i don't know where i wanted to go with this story but i knew i wanted to place in a ballerina and i thought it would be fun to make it look like she was in some kind of an artificial environment over here her own small world over here so that's why i made it lit in that way with the walls because i needed the space to create that environment there 
I really wanted to create that look of a night sky. I'm making this build during the day, as you can see, but I wanted to make that, like I said, a small environment for the ballerina during the night, look like it was during the night. So I use a wall decoration. It is actually, it's not really a painting, but it's a thing where you travel to space with these spaceships that are in the game or that rocket, these rocket ships that are in the game. You can get certain images where you go there. It's a rabbit hole thing. So where you go in a spaceship, you just come back later on. But sometimes you get a painting or a picture like this, like that's uh, like some kind of an achievement achievement. But I always use all the cheats, of course, in the game when I'm building the bv.move objects, the bv.show hidden objects, bv.show live edit objects, and the long one, bv.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlements. And in that way, when you use that cheat, all the items that were normally unlocked during gameplay are all available to you. So that's how I got that particular backdrop over there. There was a white line all around it and I used some of these yeah, wall strips to cover that up a little bit. Some curtains and these lit trees, they came with a dine out pack. We're onto the ballerina already and before I started building on this, I already knew that I wanted to use this particular statue, of course. I think it is a base game statue actually and of course with the feet of the girl like that and with that dress it was just perfect to use here. I couldn't use any other item over here than her and yeah I already knew that I wanted to use her as you can as I already said and yeah, I thought especially that entire ballerina thing that I had with these music boxes just became one complete story over here by placing in that statue. I placed her on a fountain. The fountain came with the, not that, the that patio pack, no, the romantic garden pack. And I raised her up a little bit. I sized her up, of course. I used an onsen uh, that came with the snowy escape pack to create a small pond over there. It's such an amazing item. I used it in my previous builds. The storybook that I did as well. If you haven't seen that build already, check it out if you want. I will place one of these pop-up cards on your screen right now. But yeah, it is an item normally for your sims to bathe in, of course. But in building, you can raise it up or you can flip it around or stack these things together to create a waterfall. And it doesn't affect the environment or the item. Normally, when you do something like that with a mirror for example when you size that up or when you raise that up well it can look kind of kind of strange kind of different and with this item you can really uh, use it in your builds or in your game when you want to create a pond on different places so that's how i place it over there as well i created some smoke all around it again i love doing that lately in my builds i kind of have a face with that now <laughs> by placing in chimneys of course and lighting these chimneys and in that way i could create that smoke over there we're on to the house already, the interior of the house. It is the bottom layer, it's below the drawer and on the left of the way you take a look at the front of the build. On the left of it, there's an entrance. There's a door to enter this house. It's just yeah, one layer, there are no separate rooms or something. It's just one open living space. And I wanted to, of course, incorporate the same look that I had on the exterior on the interior as well. I wanted to use some of these machinery parts because we are inside this music box. And of course there are uh, machinery parts there to make the entire thing work. I used these um, items in machinery parts again from the Star Wars Journey to the 2 pack. But if you don't have this pack, I think that famous was the most important one for this build, especially because of all these golden curls everywhere on the exterior. But I wanted to make this, yeah, in the same style that you could see on the exterior of this build. I wanted to make it functional, so with a kitchen and a bouquet, so your sims had something to do. 
there is no television in this build because I thought it was very, very much out of place. But of course, you can pull this build from the gallery and do your own thing with it. You can add on, you can remove things, you can do your own thing with it, as I already said. I wanted to incorporate some pops of blue here and there. Because on the exterior I created that night sky backdrop and there was blue in that as well. And same for the accents on the lid of the chest or the box. I used some blue accents here and there as well. My initial plan was to use red accents, of course, because I wanted to make it something Christmassy. But because I used that, that star uh, painting, that star photo to uh, create that backdrop. It had a blue glow all over it and I thought it isn't that Christmassy already. Let's just ditch that idea and go extremely for this, go completely for uh, this music box with these pops of color, with these pops of blue everywhere. I wanted to place in the fireplace over here because there was coming smoke. Like I said, I placed these bigger chimneys just at the back over there, just behind the fireplace. I placed these chimneys in to create a smoke and I thought it was more logical when I placed in a fireplace as well. A lot of dark colors in this interior. I used the vintage glamour stuff back here and there as well. And I wanted to give it a little bit more of a steampunk look by using these tubes and these pipes here and there and some golden clocks on the wall. Now we're yeah, kind of ready with the entire music box but i thought it looked a little bit strange in the environment over here at the end as well it is a little bit strange to have a massive music box in the middle of your city center of course <laughs> but i wanted to make it look a little more little more like it's it could fit over here so i created this very small ponds all around this build I placed these fences all around them. They came with the vampire spec. And I used this particular object. And especially because I went for this accent of blue here and there. And in the interior as well. I thought it was perfect. Of course, because I'm building it this during winter. You cannot see its true color. Normally it's a blue with a blue, uh, yeah, black with the blue in it. It is an item that came with the island living pack. And I think it is something like for ruins in the ocean. But especially with the blue, I went to just a normal build mode with default weather here and there as well. I cut it out of the video though. But especially with the blue, it just looks very cool. And I thought these um, curves here were so fitting for this build as well and i wanted to fill that up with these flowers of course it is in winter so there are no flowers right now but i thought it gave it yeah a little bit more like an effect that it that it really was supposed to to be here that it was in the right spot over here i thought it looked a little bit more logical I use some bushes here and there and normally these are big green bushes but during winter you can only see the branches and I thought it was so fitting. I thought it just matched perfectly with the look I wanted to go for in the music box. I used some of these plants, these are these branches with the small white flowers. You can just find them amongst your, your plants menu and decoration menu or your build and buy catalog. And I lowered them down a little bit in the ground so you could only see these branches popping up out of the ground. But we're already into the outro. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it. I really hope, like I said, that you'll have a great Christmas today. Next week it will be a New Year's Eve and my schedule will be a little bit different because I'm going to celebrate Christmas as well with my family, like I said. And New, Year New Year's Eve too, so only one video next week. And I think in the middle of the week. So not on a Tuesday, not on a Friday, but I think it will be coming on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So I hope to see you, I hope to talk to you this Thursday with my new video, of course. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I try to do a lot of different things with my builds. I want to keep you guys inspired for your own builds. So if you like that, so please subscribe. Like I said, I hope to talk to you this Thursday. Have a great day.
Goodbye.